Today I will show you how to make a cast on rack. First make sure the racking handle is in its lowest position, set the front lock to N and the stitch size to 1. Set the back lock to GX. Insert the black strippers and take the waist yarn. I am using two strands of acrylic yarn. Raise 40 needles on the front bed, then arrange them in one to one division. Place the edge springs and make sure the latches are closed. Knit one row. Raise the needles on the front bed. Increase the stitch size to 4 and knit one row to finish the cast on. Increase the stitch size to 5.5. Tap on the needles to tighten the yarn and knit 20 rows. Tap on the needles after every row. Clear the row counter and take an eyelet threaded with ravel cord. Remove the edge springs, start from the leftmost needle and transfer the stitches in one to one division. Place the edge springs back on the last working needles and make sure all empty needles are out of working position. Knit one row and set the front lock to GX. Remove the eyelet with the ravel cord, move the lock to the right and take the main color yarn. I will use two strands of acrylic yarn. Set the front lock to end, the stitch size to one and knit one row. Raise the needles on the front bed. Increase the stitch size to four and knit one row. Increase the stitch size to five and a half and knit two rows. Lower the front bed and attach weights at both ends of the knitting. Remove the edge springs. Transfer the leftmost stitch one needle to the left and leave the empty needle in working position. Take the rightmost stitch and transfer it one needle to the left. Put the empty needle out of working position and knit two rows. Move the leftmost stitch one needle to the left. Then move the rightmost stitch one needle to the left. Knit two rows and repeat. By the way, you can support me by liking the video or leaving me a comment. When you reach the desired width, raise the opposite needles on the back bed. You have to observe the needle roll. Remove the black strippers and insert the orange ones. On the front lock increase the stitch size to 6. Set the back lock to N and the stitch size to 6. Knit one row and lower the front bed. Use the yellow tool and make a zigzag clutch cast off.
Remove the weights, raise the needles all the way, then pull them down to remove the knitted piece. That's the cast on rug. Pull the ravel cord and remove the waste yarn. Now you have to iron the cast on rug. Use tin to kill the yarn faster. You can use the decker tool to hang the rug on the needles. I will lay the cast on rug flat, then I will use one of the decker combs which Marina sent me as a gift. Hi Marina, how do you do? Lower the front bed and attach the cast on rug to the needles. The loops must be attached to the hooks of the needles, don't pull them behind the latches. Place the edge springs and attach weights to the cast on rug. Raise the needles on the front bed, place the edge springs and knit one row with ravel cord. Now you have a homemade cast on comb. Set both loops to GX and remove the ravel cord. Move the lock to the right and take the main color yarn. Then set the machine to knit, make the cast on and continue knitting. This is how it looks. Now pull out the ravel cord and remove the cast on rug from the knitting. You can reuse the cast on rug at any time. That's all for today, thank you for watching, have a nice day and see you in my next video!